Hi, this is Nika and uh, today we'll be studying uh, the Word of God and today we'll be, uh, I will be reading Psalm, uh, Psalm 32. Psalm 32, uh, uh, we just read and we will just meditate and I would like to share a couple of things here, my own thoughts and my insights with the scripture. Uh, thank you so much for watching and reading the Bible with me. It's just an uh, amazing time to spend time with the Word of God, the Word of God with Jesus. Jesus is the Word of God. So let's just read. Blessed is he who, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones grew old. Though my groaning all day long, I threw my groaning all day long, all, all day long, I need to get my glasses. For day and night, your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into drought of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you in my iniquity. I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this cause, everyone, he, everyone who is godly shall pray to you. In a time when you may be found, surely in a flood of great waters they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed, harnessed with bit and bridle. And bri bridle, 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 I guess, yeah? Else they will not come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous. And shout for joy, and you are pride in heart. So, let's go to the beginning. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Wow, yeah? So this was written by, uh, by Psalm. It's a, it's a Psalm, Psalm of David, written by David. This is Psalm. And he, uh, you know that this, we have Old Testament and we have New Testament. So uh, this is Bible, and it's in the middle, this is the whole thing goes to the New to Old Testament. This prophecy in law, law prophecy is leading us to Jesus Christ, leading, 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 leading. The psalm included, leading in the now New Testament comes here. Jesus comes and we have New Testament, a new creation, new life, new life, new era, new, completely new uh, lifestyle, you know, new thinking, the Holy Spirit, because Holy Spirit is God Himself came to earth and it dwells in us. So, but this is the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, it's a, it's, it's a foretelling us, foretelling, in telling what's, what's happening. And this has happened. And he says, blessed is he, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. Oh, this is, a, uh, this is about me. In some of the um, translations, it says, uh, happy is he, Whole translation. Uh, this, this one says, "Blessed, happy, blessed, joyful, mm, um, uh, uh, giving mercy to those." I mean, like the, uh, a joyful, happy, uh, blessed uh, person uh, considered as a blessed. Yeah. So blessed, and this is what me. It's me. It's us believers in Christ Jesus. It's we are are blessed. We are a blessed people. Why? Because whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins is whose sin is covered. Our sins are covered by Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus. We are blessed because our transgressions are forgiven. All the transgressions are forgiven. Sins is covered. Yeah. 
Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity. Now, Lord is not does not impute iniquity in us because iniquity is taking sin and transgressions taken by Jesus Christ in His body in, through His blood was nailed on the cross. Everything is taken there. And now all, because I believed what happened on the cross, now I'm blessed. Instead of this condemnation and living in sin and living in transgressions and iniquity, instead of that, I am now blessed. It is blessed. I am blessed. Yeah? So, it is blessed is you. This is amazing. Yeah? So, I'm blessed. I'm blessed because my iniquities are taken on the cross by the blood of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Mashiach, my Lord and my Savior. So, and the, here's, here's another paragraph, yeah, let's just talk about that. When I kept silent, my bones grew old, through my groaning all day long, for day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into drought of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity, and I have not hidden. Look. Here, in this one, and he says, I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. This is, this is exactly what's happening. So before the Lord, people would like, I have, a, I have a life before Christ and after Christ, like B.C. and A.C., yeah? Before Christ, yes, I felt like my bones grew old. I felt like I'm groaning all day long, even though my life was uh, a pretty good. Pretty, you know, in many ways it was very successful before Christ. But, but I did feel like all day and night, uh, his hand was heavy upon me. Something wasn't, something, there is no, there was no genuine joy was before Christ. There is no genuine uh, hope and assurance that, that I am well taken care. Like, I, I had to take care of myself. That's what, that was I was I, I felt before Christ my life yeah so my vitality was turned into a drought of summer that's how I felt like uh, the more you work the, the you use your all your energy the more you 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 you're empty that's emptiness like it says drought of summer and acknowledge acknowledge my sin to you in my iniquity uh, I have not hidden I said I confess so that's the process came I confessed because I'm that's I nobody I need Jesus to forgive my sins. I repented. I received Jesus Christ as my Savior. I believed in Him. I received His blood redemption. And I live by that. And instead of all this, all this, you know, my bones grew old, everything, it just stopped there. It just stopped. And it's just, that's how I feel. I feel like I'm, they renew, this hold the trust in the Lord, they renew their wings like an eagle. That's how I feel. That's exactly how I feel in my life since I met my, my Jesus, my, my strong tower, and my salvation. And another, so this is one meaning for to me. This is one revelation. Another revelation of this word to me is like, even though I walk in the Lord, like, we have soul, spirit, and body, we say, but we still have soul that has emotions, has this emotions, this has this, you know, we always need to come and bring to salvation. We say, Dis don't dis be, be dismayed on my soul, like, uh, like David says. Trust in the Lord. Uh, so, the, the Word of God, I need to encourage my soul. And he said, uh, the Peter, Peter, like when I'm taking a uh, um, <clears throat> verse from Peter, says, in his passages, that we need to uh, drink this milk, yeah, and, and we need to have this food all the time to grow into salvation, to grow in our salvation. So salvation is a process of growing a day, day to day, and we grow and grow in sanctification uh, a process going. So we, when we grow, when we walk in the Lord, we do fail. We do, sometimes we do things, then and it's we grieve sometimes, not grieve, grieve ourselves actually, because Holy Spirit will always encourage to do right. Holy Spirit will rebuke, the, you know, like I live in, in Christ Jesus, my Holy Spirit is, when I do wrong, Holy Spirit will rebuke me, will not let me even go do, anything it's just everything seems like falling apart this is how i felt sometimes when i'm silent when i don't come and confess my uh transgressions before the lord 
And he is my advocate, it says. When I keep silent, when I just stay in the same thing and I don't even confess my confess and I don't talk to the Lord when I know the Holy Spirit is telling me that I was doing wrong. That's how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. Heaviness, the heaviness. This is joy is robbed. Like just this is the joy, joy is gone. Joy. Vitality was turned into drought of summer. That's exactly how I feel sometimes. But thank God, thank God God is giving this faith and ability. He said, I he said, I acknowledge in as soon as I acknowledge I was wrong. I acknowledge I in my iniquity I I did not hide them. I confess like in, in First John, where it confess one another, confess your sins to another, and, the, and He is faithful. He will wash it. He will remove that. He is here that says, "I will confess my transgression to the Lord, and You forgave the iniquities of my sin." And then He here said, "For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to You in a time when You may be found, in a time when You, oh God, may be found." But God is found if, in when we are Christians, we, we, be, we believe in Christ Jesus, we are, we are baptizing Him, we walk in Him, Christ Jesus, His presence is all the time. We don't have to look for God. God is in us. Jesus is in us through, through His Holy Spirit. And He and said, we come to, we need to, we need to, we need to make time, we need to find that time and make time and give that heart to the Lord and confess that, yeah? And she, she uh, surely in the flood of great waters they shall not come near him. So, and then there's calamity is going. You know, as soon as we say, Lord, you are my helper. Lord, I confess everything to you. Lord, I give everything to you. With your strength and your wisdom, I can overcome this. And the flood of all the sorrow will, will just pass. But will not touch you. It says, yeah, they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. Jesus is my hiding place, it says. You shall preserve me from trouble. Preserve me from trouble. Praise the Lord. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. So there's here some calamities coming. And the Lord delivers. We walk in the joy. We walk in the light. We see. We see the road we are going. Yeah? And he says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. God says, I will instruct you and teach you the, the way you should go. I will guide you with my own eye, with my eye. God looks at you. He sees you. He sees everything about you, in you, through you. Yeah? It says here, with my eye. Do not, do not be like horse or like mule with the, which have no understanding. So do not be like tamed and just put it, put it in, you know, like make you to go this direction, but just choose like when you when you know nobody likes to what somebody telling them to to do. I don't think I don't think anybody likes this. I'm telling do this 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 this. Like well, I have my own idea what to do. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. So that's how people usually are. They choose. They make. They like to make their choices. But when you make your choices. Following the Lord, following Jesus, with His Word, and His words are filled with wisdom and direction, good direction, blessing, direction of blessings and glory. His many sorrows shall be to the wicked. We know who are the wicked, eh? people are who are not walking in the Lord. But he who trusts, see, he said there are people who are wicked, and there are people who trust in the Lord. But he who trusts in the Lord. Mercy shall surround him. Mercy, so that you will be forgiven. You will be giving a chance. You will be, uh, uh, like, mercy will be giving all the time, yeah? Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. That means be happy, be glad. Your happiness is that you know the Lord. You rejoice because he's taking care of you. He taking, he's taking really good care of you. You righteous, he said. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous. And shout for joy. So shout, just declare that. Shout, shout. That means sing. Shout to, for joy. Uh, so many, uh, uh, all your, all your pride and heart. Yeah. He's a shout for joy. It's interesting. Shouting. It's a, it's a great form of exclaiming something. Yes, like people say, "Wow, that's great." This is shouting, exclaiming. Yeah. So. Um, 
shouting for joy, shouting the joy of the Lord. It's, a, it's amazing. Uh, form of um, emotional exclaiming some happiness, some some joy, yeah. So and unfortunately, in many churches, it's like it's like, oh, you know, no, you don't talk loud, you don't you don't just clap, you don't you know you don't dance. It's just like no, it's not appropriate. <laughs> yeah. so this is what appropriate. Shout for joy. Shout this means loud voice. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Shout for joy. Rejoice! What is rejoice? It's a, you. You laugh. You you smile. You rejoice. You dance. That's dancing, rejoicing, smiling, uh, listening to this beautiful, wonderful music. That that that's just the, the glory of harmony in this music. Just rejoicing. That's the Lord is calling you for that. Shout for joy. Uh, if you think that you're upright, if you think that God is in you, just shout for joy. So this is. Uh, the Word of God today, and uh, it's on my insights, my interpretation of the Word of God, how Word speaks to me, but I really would like to uh, know uh, your testimony. Maybe you can write me, because you have this ability, if you're, if you're a subscriber, you can just write me your testimony. I would love to read that and share uh, your testimonies, maybe through the video also. Thank you so much for watching. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be blessed in the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.